I've seen a lot of VR games in my time. I've seen the good, bad, ugly, and even disappointing. Some games are just a little bit overpraised, some are hated for good reasons and should stay that way, and there are those that are actually pretty good. But there is one game that I thought was going to be disappointing, but has actually become one of my favorite VR games. The title for the most overhated VR game has to go to Sniper Elite VR. It currently has a 17% on fucking Steam when it comes to the recent reviews, and it has an overall 57% mix review on Steam. You're telling me that this game is worse than fucking Medal of Honor VR, a goddamn cutscene simulator, one of the most unoptimized VR games I've ever seen. It has 200 gigabytes of space, which I don't know where it's going to because it's definitely not the graphics. Why the hell does it look like they're melting? Are they made of wax? What the fuck is this texture? But when I heard of the overwhelmingly negative reviews coming from this game, and witnessing the horrible reception that it's gotten, I really don't get why people are so angry about this game. I think that this is a pretty solid time. I don't know who the fuck piss in all your Cheerios. Time to take a piss! I think it has all the features that the Sniper Elite franchise is known for. The x-ray is here, but a lot of people say that they get motion sickness because of it. But I personally don't have a problem with it. I have literally no clue what any other way that they could implement that feature into the game. And it's fun as hell. I thought that the level select was unique because it's basically an old man retelling his stories from his old book. I do have to agree that the little in-betweens of going back to the farm as an old man, that can get a little bit annoying, but it doesn't really take up a lot of time. Oh. Malarkey. I'm Joe Biden. Dear God. All the weapons feel nice, I didn't really have any problems with reloading or anything. Except for the pistols though, I do have a problem with the pistols. They don't let you hold it with two hands. That's a bit weird. The scopes also do have this weird texture. It's like a black gradient that can sometimes get annoying, but it rarely blocks my view. The graphics are serviceable when it comes to VR games. Sure, it's not next gen ray tracing, but I mean, for a VR game, it's, you know, it's fine. The AI can be kind of wonky at times, but can also fucking kill your ass in a heartbeat if it wants to. But yet again, it's serviceable. It has a okay length at around 6 to 8 hours. But honestly, if you just get this game on a discount like I did at around $10, it's pretty fun. Would I recommend it at $30? Eh. Sure, the levels may be kinda linear, especially compared to the Sniper Elite series. I've played Sniper Elite 2 and 4 and they're pretty big, but I don't really see its absence here as a problem. As long as you get the mechanics right, make it feel like as if you're actually sneaking around, and make it feel as if you're outnumbered, then I think that accomplishes the job of making a Sniper Elite game. I believe that this game does Sniper Elite justice, even with its few limitations and issues. And I have to be honest, I did experience some visual bugs, but it was like maybe one or two. I was expecting to just go into this game absolutely pissed, but I came out pleasantly surprised. Sure, it doesn't have the new fancy graphics of the PS5 or Xbox Series X. Sure, it's not as semi-open world as the Sniper Elite franchise is known for. And it may not be as long as games that you're expecting it to be, but you guys voted best indie game to fucking stray, so shut the fuck up. But if you just view it as a simple and short VR game, one that has satisfying mechanics, cool slow-mo bits that you love, and you're a fan of the Sniper Elite series. Give this a shot. Ignore the reviews, it's actually a good game. I would rather have a short and sweet but also satisfying experience than an ugly bloated disaster that is trying to waste the most of my time. I'll give this game a fucking 7.5 out of 10. I would give it a higher score but I do have to agree, it is a little bit short, not only in its length, but also its levels. And I can definitely tell that this title was meant for Quest 2 and not really for PC, which is a shame. Because I feel like an upgrade to PC would be nice, but I guess not. But I am happy for the stuff that is here. I do really wish that they could make more Sniper Elite VR games, or at least some sort of DLC for the game. But due to this reception, we're probably never going to see another fucking Sniper Elite VR game, which is sad, because I believe that Sniper Elite can work best in VR. 
I swear to God, I'm gonna shut on your porch if you don't play this game. Anyways, this was my opinion. You can go play it yourself and figure out your own opinion. But for me personally, I enjoy this game. I really do. And I would recommend it. At least try it out. And if you hate it, then you hate it. If you like it, then you like it. But don't be this vicious, like goddamn. Look on a mask of my boy. Subscribe if you want to, like if you want to, even comment if you want to. I don't care, you do you. Have a good day. Wow, these 200 gigabytes are really needed, guys. Wow, thank you so much. Woo!